Jesus bless this message. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We are on part three of our exams and we're right here. Number 108 through 120. Remember to don't don't wait too much take don't take too much time. Answer quickly. Answer what it is, not what you think it should be or wish it was. Answer what it is so that you can actually work on these areas in your life. Picking it up at number 108 through 120. One is never true. Two is rarely true. Three is somewhat true. Four is often true. And five is almost always true. 108. I feel God's presence in my relationships with other people. 109. I treat people of the other gender in a pure and holy manner. 110. When convicted of sin in my life, I readily confess it to God as sin. 111. Through prayer, I seek to discern God's will for my life. 112. I readily forgive other people because of my understanding that God has forgiven me. 113. I help others with their religious questions and struggles. 114. I have learned through my faith and the scriptures how to sacrifice for the good of other people. 115. I share my faults and weaknesses with others whom I consider to be close to me. 116. I am generally the same person in private that I am in public. 117. When God makes me aware of his specific will for me in an area of my life, I follow his leading. 118. I regularly find myself choosing God's way over my way in specific instances. 119. I am honest in my dealings with others. And 120. I regularly pray for my church's ministry. Okay, now we're right here on number 121 through 122. One is definitely disagree. Two is a few times. Three is monthly. Four is weekly. Five is more than once a week. Number 121. How often do you attend worship services at your church? For us, we have them Wednesday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday. We have it all the time. How often do you attend? Or wherever your church is. 122. How often do you attend prayer groups and prayer meetings okay the answer key will change now we are at 123 hold on I'll lift this up uh, question 123 through 130 one is definitely disagree two is I tend to disagree three is I'm not sure four I tend to agree five I definitely definitely agree so the questions are, how much do you agree? How much do you agree? That's what that says if you can read it. Amen. 123, here we go. That God fulfills his plan primarily through believers within a church context. 124, that a new believer should experience believer's baptism by immersion prior to acceptance by a church as a member. Let me read that again. How much do you agree or disagree? That 124, that a new believer should experience believer's baptism by immersion prior to acceptance by a church as a member. 125, how much do you... Uh, Agree that baptism and the Lord's Supper are local church ordinances and should not be practiced outside of the gathered church. 126, you agree each person born into the world inherited a sinful nature as a result of Adam's fall and is thereby separated from God and is in need of a Savior. 127, 
There is only one true and personal God who reveals himself to humanity as God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. You agree? 128, that Christ will return a second time to receive his believers, living and dead, unto himself and to bring the world to an appropriate end. 129, how much do you agree or disagree that Jesus Christ is God's son who died on the cross for the sins of the world and was resurrected from the dead? And 130, how much do you agree that Jesus Christ during his incarnate life on earth was fully God and fully man? Okay, moving on to number 131. One is not religious Two is somewhat religious and three is very religious. 131, how religious or spiritual would you say your three best friends are? And 132, one is none, two is a few, three is several, four is the majority, and five is all. 132, how many of your closest friends are professing Christians? Okay, the rest, we're going to back up here because I might need some of that board space. Um, 133, here you go. Are you male or female? You can just write that down, male or female. 133. 134. I want you to write down your age group. Are you 18 through 22? Or 23 through 30? 31 through 40? 41 through 50? 51 through 60? Or 61 and over? 135. How long have you been a Christian? One, less than a year. Two equals one to three years. Three equals four to five years. Four is six to ten years. Five is eleven to twenty years. Six is more than twenty years. 136. Have you ever been discipled one to one by another Christian? Yes or no? Okay, now we're going on to exam four. You're going to literally write down exam four. On your, on your next sheet. And you're going to put one equals dis, agree, two, not, sure, Three, I definitely agree. And you're going to put how much do you agree? One, I am forgiven. Do you disagree? You're not sure you definitely agree like that. So, ready? One, I am forgiven. Two, I am reconciled with God. Three, I am rescued. Four, I am redeemed. Five, I am free. Six, I am brought with a price and I belong to God. Seven, I am known by God. Eight, I am chosen. Nine, I'm justified before God. Ten, I am accepted. 11. I am saved. 12. I am alive. 13. I am loved. 14. I am taken care of. 15. I am a creature. 16. I am like God. 
17, I am known. 18, I am made to be God's caretaker of his creation. 19, I am made to relate to his creation. And 20, I am made for thankful, obedient worship to God. That ends your exams, y'all, for this, for this, uh, for, for the whole time. So what you do is you keep those answers all the way down from question number one should have been answered like this. Exam number or whatever, four, one equals three, two equals one, two, three, all down like that. Hold these in your notebooks, y'all. It's okay, wherever your answers are, let them be truthful. Hold this notebook. This notebook is very, very precious. And then in three months, we take this whole thing again. Don't go back and look at your old answers until you're done. Then when you're done, Go back. And if you've already taken this last month, then what you do is go back to page one and page one. Com compare your answers. See where you need to grow at or where you have grown, okay? And we continue to do that until God takes us home. That's what we do. All right? Thank you, guys. Thank you all for your support and help in our ministry. Don't forget, you got till May 22nd for your second Passover. If you didn't give to give your first fruits and your gifts to God... Um, on the Passover, he gives you a second chance to do that. May 22nd is that day. And it's the best of the year, in case you don't know. All right? And you can do it anywhere in the description below. And we thank you so much for helping us out, y'all. And we hope and pray that we're helping you. All right? Make Jesus Lord of your life. See you on the lives at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Jesus. We Are Jesus Stewards. And at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And don't forget... Look, go to JesusDoers.com, y'all. Write this down. JesusDoers.com. And scroll through. You see a tab at the top left corner. Click that. The Juniors page comes up um, where you can buy your with Jesus Doers Witness and T-shirts is there. You'll see what we do with Africa. You'll see my testimony there. You'll see the big barn with the link and the days and the hours for you to come into uh, Bible study and fellowship with us. It's all there on JesusDoers.com. Go scroll through it and take a look. Thank you guys. God bless you. We love you. We care about you. Most of all, make Jesus Christ Lord of your life. Give your life to him. God bless you.